Hello! In this video I'm going to show you how to set up free DV and get it going with your radio. So the first thing you need to do is go to freedv.org and let's see at the time of making this video you scroll about halfway down the page and I'm on Windows so you just download the Windows installer so we'll go ahead and grab that and it downloads okay then you install it so typical install procedure I agree to everything firstborn child all that good stuff and now we're ready to run the program so let's go ahead and get that guy opened up and here is free DV so the very first thing that you're going to want to do is configure your sound card interface under the audio config menu and so here um, this trips some people up but if you just read exactly what it's saying um, it, it makes a lot of sense so this is from radio like in my setup I've got a signal link here uh, that connects into my ICOM IC7000 so the from radio is going to be the audio coming out of the back of the radio through the signal link through its internal sound card interface into this program so on that one I'm going to pick sound from signal link from radio and then to the speakers or the headphones what this is talking about is the audio that you're going to hear um, after the free DV software has decoded the codec 2 signal coming in off the air so in this case I'm just picking my local speakers um, and then this is what you need to receive if you're not planning on transmitting you can stop here and just hit apply and keep going but if you're wanting to actually send a digital voice on HF then you have to set up the transmit section and so the from microphone portion is from your voice as you're speaking so when you talk into your computer it can be a headset that you picked up at you know that you use for Skype or that you just any microphone that you can plug into your computer so you'll go ahead and uh, select that and I do a little bit of audio processing so I've got a virtual audio cable so it's a little bit more um, in depth than what it normally would be but most people would just say pick their their microphone like that um, in this case I pick uh, the output of uh, virtual cable but you would just pick uh, a mic any microphone that's available on your computer and that's going to be the audio that gets encoded with free DV um, codec to um, to to be transmitted over the air and then this one down here is the 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 audio or the the modem audio or modem data that's going to be sent out to the radio to be sent out across the air and uh, in this case I have a signal link signal link and so you just select that signal link uh, device and then you're ready to go just hit apply and in the case of of my setup I have since I have the signal link um, for the PTT config I just use uh, Vox PTT and uh, since this mode as soon as you hit transmit it just you know starts transmitting a bunch of you know modem data or noise um, uh, Vox works really well um, if you were using it more in a single sideband configuration you'd you may want to uh, set your PTT up a little bit more um, so so that when you hit PTT it uh, actually keys the radio for the duration of that but since we are sending data um, it, you know 100 percent duty cycle when you click that uh, PTT button it just starts sending a bunch of noise so that's good you know Vox I found with a signal link works really well and then once you get all those set up it's also good to go to um, tools and then on down to um, uh, options here and then you can just put your call sign in here you know like I, I've got my call sign my name and then uh, my location there and then just go ahead and uh, click OK to save that information 
And then most people use 1600 uh, to make uh, contacts on on FreeDV. Most people use the 1600 mode. And uh, in 1600 wide, it spreads the carriers out, each uh, PSK carrier out a little bit further, uh, covering a little bit more of the audio spectrum. And on the website, it's referred to as a uh, uh, like a DX mode that uh, probably has a little bit more punch, gets out a little bit better. I've noticed that when you're on the air and and uh, and you run 1600, a lot of operators don't know. Um, the sound of the digital voice yet so they'll come in there on top of you with their uh, sideband uh, you know uh, QSO and um, w w where if you switch to wide you're you know you're you're kind of plowing through it if you will or, or giving yourself some guard um, uh, that way they don't park themselves you know um, two kilohertz away from you and then with a you know three kilohertz wide signal so most people use 1600, but in instances where you've got adjacent um, uh, QRM going on, uh, just go ahead 16 wide, and uh, and you know you'll be good to go. And then once you get all this set up, you just hit start like this, and then this will be the waterfall display that uh, that you'll see the uh, the digital carriers in. Now this is pretty cool. I use this a lot. If you click analog here, um, uh, it actually will let you use your radio through the microphone on your computer and, and everything to actually uh, send just sideband uh, uh, analog audio across the air instead of um, uh, encoded um, uh, digitally encoded modem data across the air. So I find that to be really handy uh, just to work sideband through through my radio using this program really handy uh, so that's kind of the rundown on using free DV um, uh, the another thing that you'll really need to know is about the QSO finder uh, it's found at qso.k7ve.org that's uh, qso.kilo7vectorecho.org and so you'll just uh, uh, bring that up and then it won't say uh, a call sign so we'll just uh, pick my call sign out of the you know uh, from the list here where I've already logged in before and then we'll just log in and um, currently there's you know several people uh, on the air this QSO finder is uh, is pretty neat um, I find it to be a it's basically a chat room to find other people that are currently operating on digital voice and kind of get synced up with them and and you know kind of make a schedule and then you try to make contact over the air since it is a new mode this is going to be your best tool for finding uh QSOs uh using this mode because it is you know so new in a nutshell that's how to set up free DV and get on the air with your first QSO uh the next video that I make I will uh, actually do a uh, uh a free DV QSO on the air and uh, show you what it sounds like and, and exactly how to uh, uh, get it all going. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, I hope this video uh, helps someone out there get their uh, first free DV contact in the log. Seven threes.